whenever I put the case together, there are two tabs that uh, stick up. And I took a razor blade and scraped it off. And, and you don't want to scrape and gouge uh, you know, the, the, the mating surface here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take the, uh, the Dremel and I'm going to see if I can lightly uh, work that down so that it's uh, flat and it doesn't cause an air leak. Because um, I'm, I'm going to put the, uh, the top on and I'm going to, no, I'm not going to use any Durco uh, right off the bat. And you know, I'll do a pressure test and, you know, maybe pull it back off and do it. But to start with, I'm not. And so this needs to be flat. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that, but I'm just pointing it out to you. You, you can take your own path. I'll, uh, we'll see in a minute uh, whether I made the right decision or not. I'm going to have it on the lowest speed. I, I'm going to try the razor blade again just over here on the side to see if it made it and lay it down flat. I wish this had a slow, slow speed on it. One's not as slow as I'd like for it to be. There we go. A light touch is required. Very, very light. And I'll pull that out. Didn't want anything falling down in there. Now I'll pull the crank out of the way. did come off. Didn't on the other side. Uh, still raised. That stone is soft, it's not brutal like the brown one. I'm good with that. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> to get ready to put the top on we need to we need to put our thinking caps on um, 
Now, we know the muffler is going to go here. And so, the exhaust port needs to point that way. Now, on the top of the piston, there's an arrow. And it points towards the exhaust. So, we're going to need to put a pin in this. It's called a wrist, wrist pin. That's a, that's a nice stout one. Um, and we're going to put these little babies in there. It's called a circlip. And it will bounce all over the place. Uh, so have extra is my advice. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to put this circlip in first. And we want to put it in the opposite side. Because when we install the piston, we're going to push the pin through. And it's going to it's going to need to be stopped. And so that's what this pin, um, this circlip, is, its purpose is going to be. All right? And remember, you got to keep the, uh, the arrow towards the muffler. So um, I'm going to put the pin, this circlip, I don't know why I keep calling it a pin, um, the circlip in on, on this side, to the right of the arrow. All right. And... To do that, I'm going to use these, and I need to get this so you can see it. Hmm. And another tip, we want this to be up and down. So, like this. Okay. If I do this, this is a miracle, I promise you. Leaning over this camera. Okay, my uh, arrow is still pointing in the right direction. I am on the correct side. Okay, I'm sorry to say that I didn't do this on camera. I had uh, problems with the circlip size, which I solved by you know sorting mine out. Um, so I've, I've got it installed, and the way I did it is I put my uh, bent needle nose on the tip, and I, I put the end on the inside there. There is a, a groove, and then... just pulled it around and kind of pushed down on it slightly until it slipped in the in the groove so um, I wish I wish I could have I, I, I forgot the camera what you know what known I was all involved in this but um, it's kind of important that you know you that you leave it in the right position and um, You have the right size clip. My goodness. All right. So so now we're going to put the uh, the top on, and uh, we're going to we're going to need to install the uh, the gasket. And the way the gasket goes, I don't know if you can see this. but it dips down, okay? 
and the down we want to put it on just like that okay we've got that I gotta turn this where we both can see it. I believe we got it in a good position there. This is a needle bearing. And it's gonna it's gonna go in here. But what we want to do is we want to put a little a little oil on it. Be better to have a little grease. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. All right. Our next move is we want to go ahead and we want to start the wrist pin into the piston. Okay. We don't want to push it in because we're going to need to we're going to need to place it on here, and we want to be sure now that the arrow is pointing towards the back, and it is. helpful if I put in this under the the piston set it down okay so now I'm going to push I'm going to push that on in all the way and see so we've got the circlip in on the other side so that that wrist pin won't push all the way through then I'm going to hold hold the circle up by the tail and I'm going to run it around Hopefully it sticks in. Give me a minute. I took the pin out. Um, I think that I want to put the rings on first. You don't have to do that. I could have put the rings on there, but it would be easier for me to show you if, if I have it in my hand. So. so this is what we're going to do here. We're going to take a little bit of some good oil and I'm going to just put just a little bit in there it'll spread itself around something I've learned to do that makes life so much easier is before I put the the uh, the piston on. There are some little little pins here. 
that when you put your ring on, there this dips downward and they go under that pin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to put a mark at the top where I can see where those pins are. I'm telling you, that rule makes your life a little easier. All right. Now what we're going to do, remember, we want the, uh, the downward slope. Uh, so we're going to take, we're going to take the ring. We're going to lay it down. And we're going to really gently open her up. Okay. Now, let's see if I can show you that. Gosh, if this was just a perfect world. Let's see here. So when I squeeze that ring, it's going to slide under that pin. And that's the way you want it. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this down. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Pull this one out a little bit. And we're going to run it around till we find the pin. All right. Now the top's open. And I'm going to make sure that my my slope is is on the on the bottom. I'll run it up to the pin. Put it right on. Now see, when I look down, I can easily tell whether those are lined up or not. And that's going to be super duper handy here. Just a minute. So let's go back. Where we were. Okay, and we want the arrow pointing towards the exhaust. That way. Arrows that way. Wiggle it in. Now 
Now here's where you want to be sure that you've been good to everybody you've met today. You got to really put a squeeze on this uh, sir clip to get it to. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I believe that went in there. Okay. So I'm going to push down on the piston so that it's sitting down on my uh, install block there. That either a piece of wood or a piece of plastic, whatever it's made out of. Now next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I want my rings in the right spot. I mean, they have to be in the right spot. Okay, now I've marked uh, where the pin was, and here's the ring gap, and it's, it's about centered there. Okay, now, now next, I'm going to go over to the other side. I've got it marked here, and the uh, pin is centered in the ring gap. Okay, I'm going to check my pins one more time. Because anytime you move it, you're fooling with it, the placement will change. It'll just spin around. Okay. Now, we're going to take just a little bit of oil and put it on your finger or whatever how you want to do it rub the inside of your your jug doesn't take much I mean just just a very very small you want in your there's some oil on the ring, so okay. So now remember the exhaust side goes towards the exhaust, so that's the way we're going to place it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ring compressor. And I'm going to put it on there without moving them and squeeze. And I'm going to drop it down just a hair to get it started. And I'm going to set my piston on top. And 
and I push down at the same time. Now, what happened there was um, I compressed the rings. I made it so that they would slide into the cylinder. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to get the uh, ring compressor out, and all I got to do is push it forward. And get it out of there because you need it out of the way. Okay. Okay, so now I've got it, I've got it pressed down that far. Alright. So I'm gonna pull out my block. And I'm going to pull my gasket into place and gently push down on my on my cylinder. Okay. That works so much better to have the right size, and so I have plenty of these. Okay, so the good book tells us that what we do is we turn this backwards till it falls down in the slot. Sorry about putting my hand in your way. I... Okay, I had to hold my mouth a special way, and I got those suckers started, okay, on this side. Just got them started, turned them backwards. I can't see and you see, so that's, that's what's going on. Turn it backwards and then turn it forward. And that caught right away by doing that. Turn it backwards and then turn it forwards. There she goes. Who knew there was a special way to put a screw in? You, know, you want to you want to do this diagonally, but that's really important after you got to get them get them down a little bit. Right now they're up pretty high. Hmm. 
Now I didn't put any Durco in there. Um, we're gonna we're gonna test this sucker with without that. Now I just turned it down just to The Durco is the good red goodness that equalizes your chances of not having an air leak. Okay, now I've got it. So diagonally, I'll go across. Pull it till it feels real tight. Okay, now if, if all things are going to go well for me, I'm ready to put this, well the next thing I want to do is put it on, on its handle. And then we're